Professor Ritsuo Yoshioka in Japan has organized an international thorium molten salt forum, which is providing valuable guidance for this book. The world needs a book on thorium energy and molten salt. It will awaken people's understanding and enthusiasm for the program. The book will have four parts. Motivation for molten salt reactors, technical issues, <coughs> reactor designs, and other issues. This picture from chapter one is an illustration of a simple, a simple illustration of a liquid fuel thorium reactor. The first part deals with motivation. Why do we want thorium reactors? <laughs> Professor Ragib and I are writing this chapter, an introduction, the need for molten salt reactors, the advantages of thorium fuel, the good features of liquid fuel reactors for safety, cost of energy, and environment, and the development issues. What do we have to do to make these reactors successful. Chapter two deals with the cost of energy, the conventional power conversion cycles, and some new cycles such as Charles Ferguson's air-cooled Brayton cycle that offers very good efficiency. Chapter three will deal with other applications such as incineration of actinides from light water reactors, production of hydrogen and synthetic fuels, and medical isotopes and several other applications. And the word open means that we have not selected a lead author for this particular chapter. The, each chapter will have several authors in general and the lead author will coordinate the work of several authors. So many people are participating in this book. The technical issues, reactor physics, Imipositive of Sweden is the lead on that chapter, thermohydraulics, structural materials, and chemical processing is led by Jan Uller of the Czech Republic who leads their group there. And your suggestions for how to improve the outline of the book, who would be good authors, are valuable. And this outline of the book is gradually evolving. It's changed almost every month. So there may be one or two more changes before the book is finalized. Several different reactor designs are discussed in the book and in the last chapter. Liquid fuel thermal spectrum reactors are described by Professor Ritsuo Yoshioka and Motomasu Kinoshita. Liquid fuel fast and epithermal reactors, the lead author is Leonid Panamariv. Raluca Scarlett of the University of Wisconsin is leading the work on solid fuel salt reactors such as the FHR, leading the, the writing, I should say, not the research. Ian Scott of the United Kingdom is writing about static liquid fuel reactors. Armin Huke of Germany is writing about his concept of a dual fluid reactor. And we'll have a chapter on fusion fission hybrids. An expert on fusion fission hybrids sitting in this room has been invited to write about that but is not yet accepted. Professor Ragib is writing about resource utilization and we'll have a section on radioactive inventories and waste disposal. Sophie Grape and Carl Hellison of Sweden are leading the work on nonproliferation issues. We'll have a chapter on licensing and deployment. And research activities will tell what's going on in many countries. We have 19 countries on the list so you can see that there's a lot of participation in this book from around the world.
So we submitted a proposal to Elsevier Publishing Company this spring, and they're in reviewing it now. We'll have first drafts of most chapters in the summer. The chapters will be sent to experts for comments and revision in the fall. We hope to finalize the book in the winter and publish it next year. If this book is successful, some leaders of industry will have a knee-jerk reaction to maintain the status quo, but others will see the great value of Thorm Energy to the world and consider how their country can contribute, how their company can contribute. Universities will teach courses on thorium energy and molten salt reactors. Students will consider how they can contribute. Some congressional staff members will even read the book and brief their congressmen. And some congressmen will pretend to understand. <laughs> Your suggestions for improving the book are welcome. Any thoughts of putting a chapter in a cogeneration? There is not a chapter on cogeneration, but we're certainly willing to consider it. Uh, I'd like to talk with you offline about it. Are you going to have some kind of style team that's going to a unifying way all the different engineers put out their grass charts, uh, energy units, and then follow all book Yes, I and some others will edit the book and try to make it uh, look good in a uniform style, in, including et editors provided by the publisher. Uh, who's your audience for this? Is it an undergraduate textbook, a graduate textbook? The audience will be researchers worldwide who want to know what's going on, and university graduate students perhaps undergraduate students, depending upon the level, and uh, industrial people. All right, thank you, doctor. You're welcome.